Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. So today we are here to do a project for the design team, Country Craft Creations. This is going to be using the, um, I chose white linen cardstock. You can choose any color. Red would have been really pretty, but I used all my red. Um, and the Chamel box of crayons paper collection. You guys definitely check out my haul video for this super cute paper. I'll just quickly go through it. Super quick. If you want to see each page in detail, you have to look at the haul video. Um, it's a heart. So we're going to do this project. Um, this is going to be a quick project. I'm going to see if we can get it done start to finish, including that in, in less than two hours. Um, <laughs> You all know that Maddie and I are not exactly best friends, so that's why I like to challenge myself. And sometimes you just overthink things. So we are going to set our timers as soon as I'm done showing you this paper to one, uh, two hours, and hopefully we beat that time. Um, so the project is going to be... A little brag book. So these books are super fun and easy to make. I made this when that um, seven day love your spouse challenge came, popped up on Facebook and everyone was like, oh, you have to do this challenge. Well, in true scrapbook fashion, I didn't post pictures on Facebook. I did a book. So I'm going to show you how to make this book and we're going to mat it using the Chamel. Um, I accidentally came up with this book, the same as all the stuff I come up with. Um, I just wanted something super quick that I was going to send to my husband when he was deployed. And I wanted something that if it got ruined, I wouldn't be heartbroken. So, you know, not too many embellishments. I had to mail it. Um, you know, there's certain rules and regulations I had to follow. So there's no glitter. Um, there's no like popping embellishments except for the thickers. This is the love was on the paper collection. Um, this is the back. I just used a sticker from the paper collection and then, um, you open it up and this is the fun part. So it's an accordion book. How fun is that? So the pictures on the front are horizontal and then the pictures on the back are vertical. So it's super cute, super fun, um, super fast. So we are going to go ahead and get this done. This is great, especially right now for Easter. Take a ton of Easter pictures of your child, send it to grandma for Mother's Day, and that is the best Mother's Day gift. So all we need um, are seven pages cut at five and a quarter by six and three fourths and one page at 10 and a fourth by six and three fourth. You're going to need a piece of ribbon. I'm gonna use seam binding. I don't know which color I'm gonna use yet. Um, that'll be determined by the, you know, whatever I put on the cover. For this particular book here, I used a very thin piece of, um, I think it was a popcorn box, but I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this white duct tape to kind of make my seam stronger. I feel the linen paper um, is strong enough to handle, you know, opening and closing of the book because you're really, you're not opening and closing each page. You're just going to open the book and then it pops out. So I feel that's going to be just fine. So let me go ahead and tie this up and I have not cut any of the pages. Um, you know, we are just going to get into this now. Okay, so what time is it? Okay, the clock's on. So you can get, I think, three of the pages to the sheet. So let me find out. Might only be two. I think I'm, I think, oh my gosh, because I'm so nervous the clock is running, I can't even pick the thing up. All right, so paper cutter. And of course, I cleaned my desk, so I have no idea what anything is. Okay, so five and a fourth by six and three fourths. So five and a fourth, and five and a fourth, and I think I grabbed the cream instead of the white. I'll do it. 
Maybe it's just this light. No, it's the light. Okay. Just my lighting in here. So, yeah, we can get three out of one sheet of 12 by 12. So it should be five and a fourth. Right? No, ha, huh, six and three fourths. Kidding. Okay, save these little pieces for later. So it's three. And you can do six. Let's just do six so we don't have to uh, cut into another sheet of paper. So I'm only going to do six this time instead of seven. Um, so six and three fourths by five and a quarter. I might have cut that one backwards and I'm not going to have enough. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. Okay, so I'm doing six sheets at five and a quarter by six and three fourths. And then I need one piece at ten and a fourth by six and three fourths. So there's another sheet. I think that's why I did seven because, no, because it's only two inches and change. So honestly, I just do six. So we're not wasting paper here. I think I did seven because that's the number of pictures. I had 14 pictures, I think. So, you know, whatever. Ten and a fourth. By six and three fourths. I guess I should have did the six and three fourths first. And that went a waste of paper, but whatever. Okay. So all we need to do is score these. So on the short on the five and a quarter side, we're gonna score it at a half an inch. And that way it gives us some really nice room to show off um, the paper collection and your picture. So that's where I chose that measurement. Um, I want it to be able to see both the paper and the picture. And you don't have to put four by sixes. That's just the most common size. And Shutterfly had um, a thing of 100 four by sixes for like 99 cents, which you could only get the four by six size. So that's what I did. I um, printed all those pictures and made several different little books out of them. Okay, so that's it. This book, the cover page will come back to you later, so you can actually just put your 10 and a fourth size to the side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and burnish our Marks. I normally use my scoreboard, but um, for time's sake, I honestly don't know where my scoreboard is. So we're just going to do this. I think my dog finally destroyed her ball that she's had for almost a year. The only toy she hasn't destroyed, and I think she just destroyed it. Found a little hole. Okay. So honestly, all we are going to do is connect our pages like so. That is it, guys. So at this point, you can either score tape it or you can glue it. And what happens is that when you go to fold like so. Um, you just have to make sure that you're 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 attaching your pages so that way it can fold um, accordion style like back and forth back and forth. So I will show you that. Um, I am going to use score tape. You can use the glitter glue, but if you're making several of these, um, score tape is faster because you can just set them all together. You know, you can just pre-tape them and then keep it moving. So you can miter your corners if you want to. I don't feel the need to. So um, you don't have to. So I'm just going to line it up, get it up to the score line, but not on or over. And just put it down. So you have one page already. 
And then we're going to take this page. Let me actually use some cute little art. Let me use some straight lines here instead of tearing it. So you're just going to put the tape on the inside of your fold. All right. Hold on, guys, because I think I might. Yeah, let's see. Do, do. So that's my little fold. Yeah, and you know what? Honestly, it doesn't matter because you can manipulate the folds when you're done. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. Let's not overthink it. Let's just set and go because um, you can manipulate your paper and fold it however it needs to go. Duh, Tiffany. Okay, now that we got that drama sorted. I'm really not a I don't like to have to think too much when I'm crafting I just like to craft and go like that's how I should be doing it every other one should be front back front back front back but um, again you can fold and unfold and refold the paper all you want so we'll manipulate it to what we want it to do so honestly um, when I turn the camera off, I'm going to make two or three of these with different paper collections. Um, I want to make one with the leftover milk and cookies I have. Um, so I'm just going to score tape all of my hinges and then just manipulate the paper. Okay. And then this one. Last one. Make sure I varnish that tape very well. And okay. 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 So now we're just going to go ahead and accordion fold your paper. That's it. Just gonna varnish those down. Cool. Okay. That's it. Super fun, super easy. Okay. So the reason why we have one more hinge left over because that's how you're gonna attach it to the cover. Um like so, and then you're just going to wrap your book around. Um how you want. So I'm going to attach mine. What I did was I lined up my book to the bottom edge and then I score taped and that was just how my book was. Um, I may do that again. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. So I do want to ink all of my edges with this yellow ink. I just felt it's super fun. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to quickly ink it up. You know, nothing too elaborate. Just get that ink on there. And, you know, that's it. We're going to ink. And I'm going to keep the video rolling while I'm inking so you guys can see in real time how quick um, this project is. And if you guys see, I'm folding it, refolding it, unfolding it. It doesn't matter because this is the linen paper and the linen paper is very forgiving. It's very strong. So you can manipulate this 150 ways and it's not going to tear. So, I'm just going to go down each edge and, oh my gosh, so Paddington is fighting for the bone that he has never played with in his life, but now that Dixie wants it, of course, he's going to fight for it. He don't even like it. Okay. 
Let's go. All right, so I got those edges, and now the inside. Oh. And I'm not making, you know, I don't want, um, huh? I don't like ink on my hands. So I'm not a mixed media girl. Um, but this is about a sixteenth of an inch. So it's not that much. Just enough to get that extra color in. I said manipulate your paper I'm just turning it folding it flipping it I'm not even I'm not even worried about it because like I said the integrity of this paper is really really good so you can manhandle this manipulate it however you need it to go because that's what we are we're not scrapbookers we're paper manipulators well, anyway, that's what I like to call myself because it sounds more gangster than scrapbookers. So, you know, craft. We gotta craft like a boss. Manipulate that paper. Almost done. This is probably gonna be our longest part, and we are not going to think about our paper selection. We are not gonna overthink it. Um, because we need a trust in the paper collection and this paper collection by Chanel it's all over the place um, it was supposed to make you happy it, it's supposed to make you nervous it's supposed to give you creative chaos um, and it does all of the above there is no rhyme or reason but it is an absolute beautiful collection to work with um, you know it has a lot of the elementary colors it's just super fun and it just kind of gets you excited about crafting again, I think. Because you know, like sometimes we get in our little buckets of, I'm only gonna do shabby, I'm only gonna do vintage. Um, you know, we kind of have our favorites um, that we tend to go towards. And this collection will get you out of your comfort zone, but you'll still be comfortable doing it. So that's what I like about this collection. Um, especially those of you who are shabby, I feel like you will like this, even though it's not shabby, you can shabby it up, but, um, it's just, it's just a fun collection. Okay, let's get this back in an accordion manner. Let me get inside here. Okay. And this other side, just in case you can see it, I don't know, we'll be able to when we put it in, but, um... I don't want any naked edge. No naked edge. Okay, that's it. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, once you put your paper on, your directional paper, that's it. So maybe I do want to go ahead and make, go ahead and map this. Um, let me think. So I'm trying to think if I score tape, if I put this down first or my, um, what do you call this stuff? Or should I put this on the outside? I'm going to put it on the outside. That's it. Final decision. So I'm just going to go ahead and add score tape. I'm using the eighth of an inch score tape. You can use your art glitter glue um, here. Make sure that's varnished. But first, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. This is our 10 and a quarter by six and three fourths piece of paper. We didn't do any score marks to this page because we we're just gonna wing it because I don't want any sharp creases. I just want it to flow. Um, I just want it to flow, flow around, that's it. So that's all I want. So we're just going to go ahead and ink this up really quickly. I have never crafted it so fast in my life. Okay, actually, I have. if I don't turn my TV on, I am a pretty fast crafter. 
but if my TV is on, I get distracted. I like to watch um, Golden Girls and thanks to an inside joke <laughs> from a uh, Vegas retreat, I can no longer watch Golden Girls with a straight face. So I'm not going to mention any names. I'm just going to say T squared and sister. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to say. They know who they are. Okay, so I was the one who was being bad making the jokes, but you know, I'm blaming them. Just like I blame them when I, uh, we went to the Bellagio and I was starving and I ate my food while I was in line for prime rib. I ate everything else on my plate and I blame them for, um, you know, the missing food. <laughs> yes, that's how I roll. Anyway, so the piece that we score tape, we're going to flip that to the bottom. Um, and this here is going to be our book. Now you can decide if you want your book to, how you want it to pop out. For me, I think I want it to pop out. When I open it, I want the pop out to be to the right. I think that's how I have this one. Let me see. Does that make sense? I'm talking about like, so when I open this book, I did mine um, horizontal. So that's where you have to be careful. So if you want your book to be horizontal, then just kind of find if you want your pop out to be towards the bottom and pop out this way, or if you want it upside down and pop out this, you know, it, it honestly, it doesn't matter. It's just your preference. And I want mine to be just like this one. So I need mine to come up as opposed to coming down. See what I'm saying? It'll make more sense once you start putting pictures in. So honestly, it doesn't matter. Just put your score. The part that we score tape, we're just going to put that down. And so you're going to line up your edges. And um, this is how you can tell if you measured correctly because I did not give any give. And now I'm kind of regretting that because I did not measure this. This is, it is six and three fourths, but um, some of my pages, apparently I didn't measure correctly. So, um, oh no, I did. I'm lying to you. So if you want to give yourself that extra quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch or whatever, just change your measurements accordingly. I live on the edge, so I take all my square tape off at once. You can do the glue trick where you just rub it with a regular old school glue. Um, I honestly normally don't do that. I just live dangerously and pop my square tape down and don't care. But the glue does give you an extra, it gives you wiggle room. Okay, so just line yours up as best as you can and put it down. And now I just need to open this up and varnish this last mark. Okay, get in there, make sure that score tape or glitter or whatever is up here. Okay, so now it's in there. Um, I'm just trying to see if my ink is good. Yeah, I don't need any more ink on there. If you wanted more ink, just fold it back and ink it up. Oh no, I have overhang. I hate overhang. Okay. There we go. No more overhang. Okay. So that's our book. And um, I know I said I wouldn't mind the other way, but now mine's just going to open this way because I just did it backwards. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm happy for it either way. And I don't know if we still have. No, I thought maybe that glue stick will allow us to take it off, but it doesn't. So mine's just going to open down, whereas my other one opens up. So it does not matter. It honestly does not. Okay, so now I'm just going to fold it, but I'm not giving it a, a hard push because I want this to kind of be a loose closure, if you will. Um, because we are going to be opening and closing it, and I don't want a tight closure. Does that make sense? 
So you can take your, if you want, if you are a scorer, and this makes you, your OCD flip out, just make several little score marks. So that way it kind of rolls instead of a stiff end all be all. Okay. Does that make sense? Like I'm not going to eat that because I think I'm just going to put, I'm going to put the duct tape on the back there and then I'm going to cover it. So I'm actually going to do that right now. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is my cover. I am going to just get some duct tape. Just to kind of make it strong, like I said, you can use a thin cereal board if you want to. Um, you don't have to do this part because I feel the linen paper is strong enough, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't want it to go edge to edge only because I can't ink the duct tape. So it's up to you. you like I said, this part is optional. I'm just going to cut a little bit more off. And you can use the decorative, you know, this, the um, duct tape that has like, I saw one that had donuts on it. I really wanted that one. Um, there's a cat one that would match perfectly with this collection. Um, so you can, you know, do it however you want. There you go. If that's going to bother you that it doesn't go all the way down, then don't do this part. Because when you put your paper, you're going to be able to see that little bit. Um, unless you do some paper stripping and whatever, but it's up to you. Okay. So that's my look. That's it. Done and done. Okay. So now the only part is you need to determine which you're, what you're going to do first. If you're doing a horizontal book, then obviously you want your horizontal pictures to be on top. If your um, book is going to be a vertical book, like your cover is vertical, then obviously you want your vertical pictures um, to be on top. So this book is cute because you can flip it like this, turn it back over, you can flip it like this and see everything or flip it down. You guys can just see a journey into my world. So, or you can just, you know, pull it all up. Okay. Sorry if I just gave you motion sickness. Okay, so let's go ahead and that. We are just going to pull the papers. The first thing I want to see is... Okay, I got to keep in mind who am I going to make this for. I may make this for... The retreat pictures. Ooh. Okay, the rainbows made me happy. So my first picture is going to be the rainbows. Now you can cut your pages how you want, but um, I'm going to cut mine to six and a half by four and a quarter. Right, is that right? Yep. That's what I'm gonna cut mine at. If you want to make your pages smaller to you know get more of anchor book, you can. Um this paper is directional, so it is very important that I do this right. So let me go ahead and uh measure this again. This is four and three fourths. So maybe I want to do this book is bigger than the other one I did. So I'm going to do mine. I'm glad I measured again. I'm going to do mine four and a half by six and a half. Let me write that down somewhere. Four and a half by six and a half. That's going to be my measurements. So that's going to be my vertical. My horizontal is going to be six and a half by four and a half. I write mine out like that 
Um, it just says vertical or horizontal if you can read that chicken scratch. Um, just so I cut the paper right. So whatever works for you. Let's see why I like that measurement. I do. Six. And I hate doing six and a half because my arm is right at the. Okay. Yep, I love it. So my cover, I'm not even worried about my cover right now. I'm just going to go through my pages. And so I'm going to do all of my horizontal first and then I'll do my vertical. So I think I want mine. This is the hard part. I'm just trying to determine if I want my horizontal pictures this here or if I want them on the back. So when you open it this way, the horizontal pictures are here or if I want when you pull it down. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just your preference. Hmm. Which way do I want this? See, this is what I'm talking about. Overthinking it. Beyond overthinking it. I think I want... I want my horizontal pictures on the underside. Yep, that's what I'm going with. I'm going to glue this down. Okay, so before I started the video, I made sure my glue was unstuck. And guess what? Apparently, I waited too long or didn't clean it well enough. Okay. Get my glue towel ready. You can use um, dried out baby wipes. I just bought these really cheap... Um, they're supposed to be lint-free washcloths from Walmart. It's like a four-pack for like 88 cents. That's what I use. And you can see it's very well loved because I, I don't do yuck on my hands. And you can, with this collection, you can pull out your inks and really ink up those sides. Like if you want one yellow, one pink, one whatever. Um, I just did yellow. So now, because I'm going to have mine flip up this way and all of these are going to be horizontal, so now I already know. Okay, what's up? What do I want together? I want cameras and. Um, Okay. Yep, I want cats and hearts next. Okay. This is the only bad part is that I am going to be cutting the paper in weird ways. So you can't really get two out of one. And like I said, unless you change your measurements. So that. But this is a perfect size for a card front. Um, and then... So we're going to save these are going to be card fronts. Because I already know my next project I'm doing. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, let's go. See, we're not overthinking it because we're on the time limit. Time yourself. Don't overthink it. Because normally matting would take me, you know, five, six, seven hours. Which, okay, so I've already done one of these. And I was getting ready to mat it. And I just immediately started with the, 
oh, what should I use? You know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I cut this one wrong. Wait, what is going on here? I did. Huh? I did four and a quarter instead of four and a half. But that is okay because you know what I'm going to do? I am going to use, this is a great thing to use your branding strips because I just missed that. Use your ribbon. Uh, I'm going to use branding strips to the rescue. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I like the irony of that. Yep. So I'm going to cut this at um, six and a half. Where's my picture? So that's what I'm saying. Like, this collection is so fun. Like, you do not have to. Who says I can't put cats and dogs on the same page? Right? It's my book. I can do what I want. So I love the irony of this. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And it's just a branding strip. I cut off one of the other 12 by 12 pages. Okay. So, ha, huh, happy accident. I love that. Love the irony of that. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And I'm going to use... And you can use words if you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use these hellos. Yep, that's what's going to happen. So I'm just scribbling with the wand. You don't need that much. Easy on squeezy. I'm gonna line this up wherever I think it goes. Up top. We're gonna use the rest of this branding strip. If you guys remember on my first project, I used this branding strip on the back, and this only needs to be trimmed a smidge bit. And so see, it's fine because like I didn't line up my paper exact with the top one. But guess what? If I didn't point it out, you wouldn't have noticed. Because this paper is just so cute that no one's paying attention to these little minor details. Okay, so get on there. There we go. Okay, done and done. Now we're not done embellishing, we're just done putting our background paper. Okay, so next, let me move my branding strips to the back. I want, I really want the cameras, but I feel like I'm not going to see the cameras. It's going to cover it up. So I'm going to go with polka dots and stripes and let's do why not dogs? We just had our cat page. So let's do our dogs. So, four and a half. It's like my way. Yes, I mean grow myself. Okay, so four and a half by six and a half. Now, you can just cut. Um, a few four and a half to six and a half, and you know, um, if you have a hard time just choosing, just I would cut one out of each paper and go from there because that's, I mean, it's a good size. Okay. okay. If you want a branding strip, um, none of the branding strips had the cats, or I would put the cats on the bottom of the dog page. But I didn't see, let me just double check. We have the chameleon in a branding strip. I don't think we have the cat in a branding strip. Um, 
We do have the cameras in the Brendan strip. We might be able to do something fun with that. Oh. So I put the cats on top there, so I'm going to put the dogs on bottom. So see how fun and funky this is? Like, will we normally put this together? Probably not, but you know what? I'm loving the funky wonkiness of this paper. And I know those of you who are massive embellishers, um, you're going to have so much fun because there is no limit to this paper. You don't have to be, you don't have to rein yourself in. You just go for it. Like embellish until your heart says stop. Okay. And if you don't like that you can see the borders, put a border strip on it. That's it. Problem solved. I don't mind little tiny things like that. So you can cut a branding strip, you can cut your half an inch strips, you can make it these. You don't have to show the white if you don't want to. You can make it an eighth of an inch. You can do a sixteenth of an inch. I just want it to show paper. You can ink around this paper, which now that I'm putting it down, I wish I would ink the paper too, like in a darker color, but too bad so sad we didn't do that. So yeah. What else? Okay, this is our final paper, and I want the back of the dogs. Paintbrushes. Hang on. I want because remember this is our back cover, so I'm probably gonna put a card on that. Let's see, I want strawberries. No, I want I think I'm gonna put, yeah, this little page. Mm -hmm. So when I pick my paper, I was literally giving myself a countdown or else I will sit here all night and just think it through. And this is not an all night project. This is a project in two hours. So oh, this is what we're doing. And it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, whether you take 10 hours, 2 hours, or 30 minutes, it's going to be gorgeous, I promise you. Okay. Okay, we are almost done, guys. <laughs> Church, yeah, we got a whole other side. We're almost done with our horizontal. How about that? I am loving, loving, loving this. So now we need to do our vertical. So remember that you change. Now, if you want to have all of yours horizontal, you can do that. But um, I want some of my vertical because, you know, we have both vertical and horizontal pictures. So why not? Do you want them all vertical? Have them all vertical. Whatever makes your heart happy. Alright, so I really like these chameleons with um, triangles. Yay! Chameleons with triangles. No, I don't like the chameleons with the triangles, so... I'm going to take the chameleons with yeah, yeah. So I'm going to cut some of the numbers. I don't think I was going to use the numbers anyway. Not the higher, because can you imagine this would be so cute if you made an advent calendar? A, um, countdown to kindergarten. Oh, fun. That might be my next project. Ooh. So let me not cut numbers. But that was so perfect. 
Okay, we're going to cut the numbers. It's paper, guys. We're cutting numbers. I'm going to keep my branding strip, so I'm going to cut that off. Um, that was a cute one. Okay, so these are vertical, so I need this way is the four and a quarter by six and a half. Ooh, I might be able to. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to cut the higher numbers instead of, and I can keep the, I mean, you can always order the single sheets, which I think I might do. Four and a half. Boom. Paper cut by six and a half. And I didn't mind which way my dashes were going. Obviously, I didn't even think to check because I don't care. So mine are going to be vertical. Fun. But this, you definitely have to worry about where they're going. So again, I'm going to cut my branding strip so I can save it for later. And let's get these combines cut out four and a half. making me super happy so for this book because I really love the, the paper I'm not going to use four by six pictures I am going to use probably the two by threes or um, mm -hmm. The three by fives because I really want to showcase this paper so um, yeah this is me thinking and you guys smell smoke it's because I'm thinking here let me find my pictures you guys know my stack of pictures y'all seen 8,000 times so this is a cut down 4 by 6 so I guess you can still kind of see, but um, I feel like if I use, these are four by four. I kind of like that. Or if I use, yeah, see, the smaller the picture, those are winners. And then you can do, you know, collages if you wanted to. Mm. Or the full four, uh, that's not it. this is the four by six, or the full four by six on the paper that doesn't have like the fun design. So you can mix it up however you want. Um, yeah, mix it up however you want. Okay. Right. Um, next page. What do we want? Okay, these are going to be my card front, so let me move all these and put them in my pocket. You can even use the um, 4x6 cut parts for this if you wanted to. Let's see, there's some more. I think they're all horizontal though. I mean, it would be even cute if you use this um, pencil one because, um, you know, the pencils can, you know, can be a list. That'd be cute. I'm going to use on this one, I really want to use, I'm going to use the craft and I'm going to use the polka dots on the back. So I really just want to cut out some of these crafting things. Um... Oh wait, we're doing vertical, aren't we? Yeah, so let's see what four and a half will get me. Okay, so four and a half is not gonna cut my glue gun because I really want to use my glue gun. So four and a half. I want that K. 
cat to be in there. It's going to cut that glue in. You know what? Paper. It's just paper. Stop it. Yes, yes. And like with this one, how I'm going to treat this with a picture, because I know you guys are probably wondering, like, oh, you're putting a picture on there. What are you doing? I'm going to get a small three by five and put it here like so. And I have a perfect picture for that. So that's what was my plan on this page. And you can even take a gel pen and a white pen and put B and then put the word U under here and put like a little half sticker or something like that so you can have the BU. That's my plan for it. Or you can just put a white piece of card and make that a journal spot. There might even be a journal spot card in the paper collection. I'll have to see. I know that probably caused a lot of anguish for some reason. I'm not going to cut into that paper so we can't use the polka dots. But we can use... We're going to go ahead and use the, um, I don't know, either these pencils or the back of it. Okay. Look at that. We're not even an hour yet, and um, I'm almost done. So this one's non-directional, so it doesn't matter. I know you guys are probably like, why don't you just leave the arm out? Well, because my desk is covered. Um, as you can see, peaks of projects, so I need to keep it close. Oh, why do I keep saying four and a quarter? It's four and a half. So I need a brand new shirt. And I'm going to use this. I do not know why I cannot get that four and a half. I guess because I make a lot of cards and so four and a quarter is just my go-to, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me, but. Ah, okay. That's my pterodactyl voice. Sorry, you guys get to hear all of it. Okay. And then I just need to cut this to six and a half. And glue it down. This is all we need in life. Grinding strips to save the day. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Next, we need I don't want to read. Okay, I do want to repeat the chameleons because they're so cute, but let's not repeat chameleons. Let's do this. Um, strawberries with um, I kind of like strawberries with sprinkles. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't want that. I'm going to do strawberries with the polka dots. So let's just go ahead and cut this off. And this is semi directional. The big ones are vertical, so that's what I'm going with. Oh my gosh, I think I just did the same. One a quarter. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Four and a half. I'm going to turn it this way. Yeah. 
cannot believe. Oh my god, did I just really do that again? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, we have two branding strips. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't. Hmm. But you know what I wanted to do? I think I want to. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself for doing this. We're going to use the love and we are going to use um what's my other brand of strips at this time? I want to use the dog again. You hear me whining? Yeah, I know. Oh wait. I'm gonna use this one. Again, branding strips to the rescue since apparently I can't get it together. <sighs> you know how you have those days. I think I want it to go here, like so. I want it like so. Problem solved. So I'm kind of like, do I want branding strips on all the pages? Nope. No, no, no. No extra work. Okay. Let me put this in here. So, get glue coming out. And then this one. Okay. Did you guys hear me sigh? It's because, look, I got glue on my finger. No time for meltdowns. Okay. We're done matting. So this is my book. And it's going to pop out like so. It's so cute. And then when you pull it this way, the pages are going to go like so. Okay, I really love it. I really do. Now I need to work on, what do I want? Okay, so first and foremost, I need to pick out what I want for um, my front and back covers. And I'm just gonna kinda, I'm just kinda rolling that duct tape spine just to kind of get it that roll, you know, like that semi-circle feel to it. I'm going to put it on my cover. Let's, let's pick our cover first. Um, I think I want to use a, um, four by six card. So let me get all of our four by sixes. Oh, you know what I want to do now? I'm, I think I am going to use this for our biggest pictures. Because um, I am. Yeah, because you know, that's a cohesive thought, right? 
I want to use this Create Today on the cover. And I don't know if I'm going to put it with the flowers or if I'm going to use the sprinkles. You know what? I love the sprinkles. We're going to sprinkle it up. Mine, this is not directional, so it doesn't matter. Hey, hey, look at me doing four and a half. Yeah, buddy. Or do I want to do it just actually I'm gonna do mine a little bit more because I don't want that much of a border on my cover so I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna do five and a quarter because I want to roll it around that tape so yes so it's going to be, I'll tell you the final measurement once I get it all in my head. Okay, so I'm doing my five and a quarter by six and one, three, five. Six and five eighths. Because I want the top of that um, to roll over a little bit. I need to trim off a hair of mine because um, I want it five eighths. So there's only a tiny. Yes, that's how I want mine. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do for this paper. I am going to take my score tape and I am going to put score tape on the top portion just to give it that extra strength that's going to roll over the top of my cover. So I just put two strips down. I probably don't need that much, but that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to put this part down. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and then I'll fold up the score tape once the um, glue is dry. Make sense? Okay. Okay, so I just hit an hour on mine, and that was from the start of me talking to showing the paper collection and all of that. So, okay. So we are on task. And now I'm going to go ahead and deal with the, um, the score tape wraparound. So I'm just going to take my score tape off and I'm just going to wrap it around um, that other tape. And I probably should have laid it flat first because look, I just got bubbles in my paper. Boo. Yeah, these are all my sound effects when I craft. Okay, there we go. Go, go, go. Okay. So I'm going to put an, another, see how this is where I wanted that extra score tape because it's going to pop up and we don't want it to. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I probably should have cut it a little bit longer that I didn't. So we'll just add some glue and make sure it stays down. I'm going to put another piece. I'm going to cover that with the back. So it'll lay it down, but you know what? It's getting out my nerves. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit off. So instead of five and a quarter, I, mine's going to be five because I don't feel like waiting for that to dry. Problem solved. Okay, 
So it looks kind of wonky because I just cut it, but that's fine. And I want the back of mine to be, what did I say? Or did I say? Well, it feels good with sprinkles. Donuts, right? <laughs> there aren't any donuts in this collection. But I want a border because I'm going to wrap it around to go around the front here. So, what do I want? I don't want sprinkles on flowers. I don't like that. How about... Um, so, it's going to say create today. So, sprinkles and scissors. No, that is not making me happy inside. Okay, no, I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Sprinkles of yellow makes me happy. I'll tell you what my measurement in just a second. Hold on, let me figure this out because I know what I want to do. I want this yellow. Um, paper. Ew, my blade. This is how you know when you're using cheap cardstock because look at that the fibers um, and this is a fairly new blade but you saw how it cut the linen paper like butter this is how you know the quality of your paper and like once you start using the linen paper no other paper will compare and you'll be a paper stock so Yes, that's what I want, but I don't want my whole back of my paper to be yellow. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put a border on this. I don't have funky border, but I don't think I have any funky borders. I think I just have normal borders. Do I even want a border or do I just want to edge it? Decisions, decisions. I think I want this. I'm just going to use this lace doily one. create today card so I'm going to pull that out you can use your paper trimmer or you can go hardcore like me and just use your scissors you know crack them like a boss You can't even see my board. <laughs> I guess I have to put it under. I don't really like it under though. And you can't see my sprinkles. Boo. 
So you cannot tell that those are sprinkles. So um, I really want to showcase my sprinkles. I guess I wish I would have measured up before I put it down, but that's okay. We have other cut aparts that we can put on top of that. We can use this create right here. We can use this idea because that would be like an idea. We can use this hello. Those would all be cute. Um, we can use. Uh, we can use treat yourself. I think I'm not like that. Uh, You know, I like the parrot. Let's do something good. Um, actually, you know what? I have my thickers, don't I? Because on the front of this one, I just put my last name on it. So you could do that. You could put a word. Do you know what? I'm, I'm really feeling this. Do something good. Yeah. And I kind of like it where this is less left blank. Mm. Because you can leave this spot open. Or... A picture. Okay, I love that. Yes. That's my favorite. Done. Okay, now what to do for the back because we need to put our ribbon now. Got a pull here. I'm going to do light pink. I'm thinking. Okay, for a ribbon, I like to just put a piece of rubber tape where I feel is semi middle. And then I will get that overhang in a second. Let's go ahead and measure this out. Like to waste ribbon. I know a lot of people just blindly cut, but um, I don't like to do that. Okay, so that's perfect for what I need it to do. So I'm just going to keep that as my measurement guide. Take the back off. You can use hot glue if you want but I'm going to put paper over it. Um, so I feel like it's secure. So I'm just going to try my best to get the tails even. So this is my middle. There was a way that somebody like folded it and then it fit perfectly, but I don't know how that is. So I just do like this. I just, um, you can't really see my hand. So I just fold it in half and I'm sticking the middle where I think the middle is on my book. You can measure if you want to, but I'm not about that life. I just stuck it in the middle. And that way you kind of know where to go. You can lift it up and make it straight. There we go. Problem solved. Done. And look at that. Almost even. Okay, so I still need to figure out what to do for the back of this book. I don't know what I want to do. I really want this yellow border here. But I feel like that's too much. I'm not loving that border now. No thanks.
Oh. I need something to go on top of that because I feel it's just too plain. So, do I want rainbows and sprinkles? Let's find out. Let's audition this page. I've been watching the new American Idol, so I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm kind of American Idol out. Um, after, I think it was like Fantasia, I stopped watching it. Okay, but if I put my rainbows like so, they're going to be upside down on the front. And I don't want that, so I cannot use a directional page. Okay, so rainbows are out. Um, I'm panicking because I don't know what to do. It's taking too much time. Okay. It's taking entirely too much time. So. doing so well so we're you know we're still doing well but hey look at that a happy accident I cut the toucan out okay I am overthinking this way too much right to a second so I'm not gonna overthink it We are going to have an inch of chameleons at the top and I'm cutting, I kind of want the chameleons on top because this one matches. But then I kind of don't want the chameleons on top. I kind of want the blue. Let me see where's my bag on. Parrot or peacock or whatever this thing is. We're not having anything. Okay, nothing's coming over, so now we're just gonna find the back. In the back. I don't want the chameleons on the back. I want okay, I want this on the back. I wasted enough time with this. I'm done. Okay, so so mine. I, I'm just gonna have um, an exposed spine, which I'm okay with that because what I wanted to do was to take the paper and wrap it around. I, now I'm wishing I didn't cut that little piece off because that would have been perfect. But I cut the piece off because I was impatient, so now I'm stuck with what I have. So that was my uh, my choice. That's cool. That was my choice because I could not be patient and I cut it. So that's what I get. 
too bad. So sad. Cry me a river. So that's okay. Mine's just going to have a white spine. I don't know if you can see because of the stupid shadow. That's fine. I'm done. And now if you wanted to, you can take your border, um, you can take another piece of paper and cover that, but um, I'm good. Okay. I'm done. And now I'm just going to put my parrot. I just really like that empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue um, just one side down because um, I'm going to leave it open in case I want to add a picture. Okay. Okay. And we are going to go ahead. Sorry, I have my glue cap in my mouth. Okay. We're just going to trim this up just a little bit. You can burn the edges with the um, lighter so it doesn't fray if you want. Or you can just use a very thin uh, layer of glue. Or whatever makes you happy. I'm going to use the bubble stickers. Okay, and we're almost done. So, this is the fun part here. Um, These bubble stickers are amazing. I cannot, I, yes. I want a bubble sticker on mine. If I can get it out of the package. Okay. Bubble sticker. Where's a picture of the right there? Mm. I keep forgetting this book is not going to be. I should have put the. I should have put them on the other side. Oh well. But these aren't the pictures I'm using, so so see what I'm saying? You can just you know put like a sticker there. Um, definitely use these bubble stickers. I think I'm gonna hold off until I find pictures to put in here. Um, now we just need to put something here. Um, you know what? I do like that part there. There we go. I love it. Okay, so again, you don't want to over uh, you don't want to put a lot of embellishments on the inside of this book. This is all about the pictures, I think. Um, but you can, like, if you want to put the rainbow bubble on the rainbow page, just as the first page, you can. If you want to use your photo corners, you can. I'm going to use mine on a card, so I'm not going to um, use those here. Um, the inside, you can write a message, or you can, um, I use, this was a piece of the collection, um, and then I just did a border strip, so I think I might use a 4x6 card. Let's see, and I want this one. I want a journaling card. And I love this border of this card. Um, so I want that card to be hello right there. Yeah. Okay. 
And I love this card. You don't have to do anything extra because it already has its own border. Let me just get this somewhat straight. Yes. Okay, I love that. Hello. And then you just put it here. And then I need um, one more left. But this back here, I think it needs a full page. So I'm going to need... Ah, just put myself on the off. Now, since this was the cover page, I need to measure it. So it's four and three fourths. Okay, so it's the same. So I'm going to do four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. How cute would this be for your kids? I'm just thinking like, you know, one month, two month, three month, those, those things, because we have 12, we have 12 that we can, 12 pages we can put it through. I am so excited. We are done guys. And if you wanted to add some extra embellishments, if you wanted to add, um, some little sayings. Um, there's plenty of little tiny frames. There's cutouts. There's these little tiny frames. There's these little cutouts. Um, yeah, you can totally do that. So if you had like, let me just give you an example. If I say had this page, I might want to use your seat, something like that. So that's how I'm going to decorate mine. Um, or if you want to Let's see, let's use Paddington in a so look at that. Super cute. I know it covered up the hearts, but I just thought that was funny to have him on the cat page. <laughs> or you can have him on the dog page. Hey, that's a full four by six picture. So, you know, and then you can just put a journal spot here. Um let's see what else can we do. Use your burning strips, use your frames. I don't know if I have a frame that's already cut out. Um, let's see. Let me just cut this frame out. You guys can see what I'm talking about. I thought we were going to do the painting. Just put a little right now frame. So super cute. So when we get our pictures in, you know, we'll do that. So, all right, guys, I think we are done with this book. And it's only been an hour and a half. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I will try to have pictures and 
you guys will get a, another walkthrough, but I'm going to go ahead and post this video as is and then put pictures in later. Okay, guys. Bye. If I can find my mouse.